Thank you, Merci, Pasteur. pasteur. Vous venez de me donner un nouveau titre révérend. Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. Are you there? Let the church say est-ce que vous êtes là que l'église crie Amen Amen dans votre vie aujourd'hui Et les promesses de Dieu s'accompliront dans chaque vie Même en ce jour Prions Père nous te remercions pour ta bonté Merci pour ton amour Merci pour les promesses que tu nous as données Et nous te disons tous Amen à tes promesses au nom de Jésus Bénis chacun aujourd'hui et que la joie du Seigneur soit la force de chacun au nom de Jésus. Merci Seigneur parce que c'est fait. Au nom de Jésus, nous prions. Que Dieu bénit, pouvez vous asseoir. Nous revenons à la parole de Dieu et nous parlons toujours du plein salut. Il y a plusieurs choses dans le plein évangile auxquelles plusieurs ne pensent pas. La paix, la pureté, la puissance. Tout cela se trouve dans le plein salut. Oui, c'est le salut. Et nous avons la paix avec Dieu. Et il y a un salut plus grand, plus profond, plus large que nous appelons la pureté. We call it power. Et il y a un autre niveau plus élevé du plein salut que nous appelons Peace, la puissance. Purity, power. La paix, la pureté, Put la puissance. On peut dire ça autrement. One, salvation, there is forgiveness. Premièrement, dans le salut, il y a le pardon. We come to the Lord. Nous venons au Seigneur. We plead with him. Nous plaidons avec We lui. Confess our nous sins confessons sins. nos péchés au Seigneur. He forgives us. Il nous pardonne. Forgiveness is in that salvation. Le pardon est donc dans ce salut. Number two. Deuxièmement, Freedom. la libération, il nous affranchit in our hearts, dans nos cœurs, in our soul, dans nos âmes, in our spirit, dans nos esprits, all the things we were tied to before, all the sin, all the evil, all the iniquity, it sets us free and it breaks the yoke. Et toutes les choses auxquelles nous étions attachés, les péchés, les mauvaises habitudes, tout cela, il nous affranchit, business, brise tout cela, la bonté, Freedom. la libération. Fire. Le feu. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Et il vous baptisera du Saint Esprit et de feu. That's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Ça c'est le feu du Saint Esprit. And you pass through that fire. Et vous passez par ce feu. Everything of the world is burnt up. Tout ce qui est du monde est brûlé. Everything of your past weakness is burnt up. Et tout ce qui est de vos faiblesses du passé est consumé. Forgiveness. Le pardon, Freedom, la libération fire. et le feu. And that's why we're talking about the experience of full salvation today. Et voilà pourquoi nous parlons aujourd'hui de l'expérience du plein the salut. The experience of purity and peacefulness in a full salvation. Et donc le message est intitulé l'expérience de la pureté et de la paix experience dans le plein salut. Lorsque vous l'avez. L'évidence, vous le montrez. Expression, your manifestation. Et l'expression, vous la manifestez. The experience of purity, peacefulness in full salvation. L'expérience de la pureté, de la paix dans le plein salut. In Matthew chapter five. En Matthieu chapitre cinq. Reading from verse eight. À part du verset huit. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Heureux ceux qui ont le cœur pur, car ils verront Dieu. The tribe of Reuben, Gad, Manasseh, they were not pure in heart. Les tribus de Reuben, Gad et Gad, Manasseh n'étaient pas en paix. Il y avait l'injustice dans leur cœur. They looked away from the promised land. Ils se sont détournés de la terre promise. And they looked at this one here. Let's stay here, Moses. 
give us this land. Et ils ont regardé Don't give dans us ce God's territory. Give us this one. Et de l'autre côté, the ils ont dit à Moïse, donne-nous cela. Nous ne voulons pas aller. Heart, Il n'avait pas cette pureté de cœur. Il ordinate ambition. A pure heart does not have that kind of covetousness. And blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Il n'avait donc pas cette pureté de cœur, ce cœur pur. Parce que le cœur pur n'a pas l'ambition de mesurer. Et il n'avait pas ça. Lord saw the well watered ground just as you enter into Sodom. He didn't see God. Abraham saw God and Abraham connected with God. But the man, Lord, what did he see? Only saw this one here. His heart was not pure. He didn't see God. He only saw Sodom. Lot ne voyait pas Dieu, mais Abraham voyait Dieu. Voilà pourquoi Lot ne voyait que la terre bien arrosée. Et c'est pourquoi il s'est aventuré. He was not pure. Solomon n'était pas pur de cœur. A heart that is full of abomination. A heart that is full of lust. A heart that is full of defilement. And he could only see women. Women. He turned this way. He only saw women. Turned that way. Only saw women. Turned that way. Only saw women. And everything he desired. Just women. Until he got. Can you think about that? One thousand women. Wives and concubines in his palace. That man did not have a pure heart. Et Salomon, dans son cœur, était rempli d'impureté. Et la seule chose qu'il voyait à gauche, à droite, c'était femme. Et il s'est rempli, il a rempli le palais de mille femmes. Le cœur de cet homme n'était pas pur. The Lord wants us to have a pure heart. Le Seigneur veut que nous ayons un cœur pur. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Heureux ceux qui ont le cœur pur, car ils verront Dieu. Look at verse 9. Verse 9. In verse 9, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Heureux ceux qui procurent la paix, car ils seront appelés fils de Dieu. When God purifies our heart, quand Dieu purifie nos cœurs, He purifies our heart from anger. Il purifie nos cœurs de la colère. So we're not angry with anybody. Nous sommes en colère contre personne. We just love, love everyone. Nous aimons et aimons tout le the monde. Down and out. Ceux qui sont dedans ou dehors. The sinner, the seeker. Les pécheurs et les chercheurs. The saint, the servant of God. Les saints et les serviteurs de we Dieu. We just want to be a at peace with everybody. Nous être en paix avec tout le monde. And blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Et heureux ceux qui ont le cœur pur, car ils verront Dieu. Et heureux ceux qui procurent la paix, car ils seront appelés fils de Dieu. The action of the act of Achan. Les actions du cœur de Caïn. Whatever happens to the army of the children of God or the children of Israel, many of them died. That was not his concern. His covetousness was his concern. What he will get was his concern. And so he stood because of Rat 36 people died out of the camp of Israel. But is that man, a man that causes the death of other people, a man that causes the loss of the lives of other people unnecessarily, is that a peacemaker? No, not at all. À quand pas ses actions, ce qui arrivait dans le, dans le camp de l'armée n'était pas son problème. C'est la cupidité, ce qu'il allait amasser. 36 personnes sont mortes. Est-ce que cela avait le cœur plus? Est-ce que c'était quelqu'un qui procurait la paix? Non, regarde les disciples de Christ. I'll be going to the cross. Jésus a dit, J'irai à la croix. I will die. Je vais mourir. I will be slain by all these people who are defending religion. Et je serai tué par ceux-là qui défendent la religion. On the third day, I will rise again. Le troisième jour, je ressusciterai. They heard that and they were arguing among themselves. Who shall be the greatest? Who is the highest? Who is the most important? And Jesus said, Did you hear what I just told you now? I'll be dying, I'll be slain. And all they could think about was their carnal competition. High, greater than everyone. But the peace they ought to have among themselves, they were so self centered. They couldn't think of having peace among themselves, but blessed are the peacemakers, for they 
shall be called the children of God. Les disciples de Christ venaient d'entendre cela, mais ce qui les préoccupait, qui serait le plus grand, le plus fort parmi les mécris de moi. Est-ce que vous avez entendu ce que j'ai dit? Ils ne pouvaient pas être en paix, ils ne pouvaient pas vivre en paix entre eux, parce qu'ils n'avaient pas la pureté de cœur. C'était la comparaison charnelle. Is calling us into today. Et c'est l'expérience à laquelle le Seigneur nous appelle aujourd'hui. The experience of purity and peacefulness in full salvation. L'expérience de la purité, de la paix dans le plein salut. There are three things we are talking about. Il y a trois choses dont nous allons Number considérer. Number one is the priority of possessing a pure heart with peace. Le premier point c'est la priorité de posséder un cœur pur et paisible. Number two, the promise and provision of pure heart, a priority, a privilege. Deuxième point, la promesse et la provision d'un cœur pur, notre privilège. Number three, the pursuit of peacefulness with pure heart as peacemakers. Troisième point, la poursuite de la paix avec un cœur pur en tant qu'artisan de la paix. We're looking at number one. Revenons au premier number point. Number one, the priority of possessing a pure heart with peace. La priorité de posséder un cœur pur avec la paix. There are three things we're looking at here. Il y a trois éléments dans le number premier one point. Number one is a peaceful heart in his Peace. Premièrement, le cœur paisible dans sa paix. Number two, the purged heart by his propitiation. Deuxième élément, le cœur purifié par sa propitiation. Number three, the pure heart at his price. Et troisième élément, le cœur pur à son prix. Uh, look at number one. Revenons au premier number élément. Number one is the peaceful heart in his peace. Le cœur paisible dans sa paix. Romans chapter 5 verse 1 En Romains chapitre 5 au verset 1er Therefore be justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ Verset 1 Étant donc justifié par la foi nous avons la paix avec Dieu par notre Seigneur Jésus Christ When we came to know the Lord Quand nous sommes venus connaître le Seigneur When we believed on the Lord Jesus Christ Et quand nous croyons au Seigneur Jésus Christ He gave us peace in our heart Il donne la paix dans notre cœur He says your sins are forgiven. Il dit que vos péchés sont pardonnés. And God doesn't have anything against us anymore. Et Dieu n'a plus rien contre nous. We are justified. Nous sommes justifiés. What's to be justified? Ça veut dire quoi être justifié? Just as if I'd never sinned. Just comme as si, if I'd never sinned. C'est comme si je n'ai jamais péché auparavant. He forgives. Il pardonne. He forgets. Il oublie. He blots out. Il efface. All your iniquities. Toutes tes iniquités. Just as if I had never sinned. Just comme si je n'ai jamais péché. And so we have peace with God. Et donc nous avons la paix avec Isaiah Dieu. Isaiah chapter 28, we're looking at verse 3. En Esaïe 28, le verset 3. Isaiah 28, verse 3, thou will keep him in perfect peace. Isaiah 28, le verset 3, nous dit, Was mind is stage on thee. Et dis-tu le gars là, dans Thou la paix will keep him in perfect peace. He keeps us. We have that initial peace. Et nous gardons dans cette paix. Parce And cette the paix peace est is not decreasing. We have increasing peace. Et cette, sa paix ne diminue pas, mais elle augmente. C'est une paix croissante. Peace as to know the la Lord. paix initiale quand nous venons au Seigneur, Isaïe 26. Increasing peace. As we walk with the Lord, et la paix croissante quand nous marchons avec le Seigneur. Peace, because the Prince of Peace lives inside us. La paix qui habite en nous parce que le Prince de Paix vit that en the nous. The litmus test of the fact that we know Him, the Prince of Peace, we love Him, the Prince of Peace, He lives in us, the Prince of Peace. Et donc c'est là le test même pour voir si nous avons véritablement le prêt de paix en nous you qui habite en nous et qui vient en nous. Quand il vient toi, your peace in your heart. Est-ce qu'il y a la paix dans ton cœur? Are you looking for, you know, peace and, and you are saying I want to get rid of this conflict and confusion in my mind. Est-ce que tu as tu as cette confusion de dans ton cœur que tu te dis je veux la paix? The Lord initially he gives us 
that peace. Et quand nous venons au Seigneur initialement, il nous donne cette paix. And the peace continues on increasing. Et la paix continue et ça croit. It tells us in, in Philippians chapter 4, I'm reading from verse 7. Il nous dit en Philippiens 4, le verset 7. It says, and the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. Philippians 4, 7, the peace of God that surpasses all intelligence guardera vos cœurs et vos pensées en Jésus-Christ. The peace Christ. of God that passes understanding. La paix de Dieu qui surpasse toute intelligence. What kind of peace is that? Quel type de paix alors? They were Christ and the disciples were in the boat. Christ et ses disciples étaient dans la barque. And the sea was roaring. Et la the waves were coming up. Et it's like we're montaient. going to be drowned. Comme ils allaient se noyer. The disciples were anxious and worried. Et les disciples étaient anxieux et quiet. Jesus was lying there, he said on the pillow. Et Jésus était couché là. Calm. Calm. Quiet. Tranquille. Serene. Serene. No disturbance. Aucun, aucun and these worried people, that's what they always do. The anxious people, that's what they always do. And they went the master, 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 don't you care that we perish? They are thinking of death when the prince of life was right in the boat. Et les hommes inquiets et anxieux, c'est ce qu'ils font toujours. Ils sont allés vers le Seigneur, là, l'ont réveillé. Maître, mais ne t'inquiète, tu parles de ce que nous Jesus allons périr. Alors que le maître de la vie était là. Peace. Jésus avait cette paix-là. He was with them. Il était avec eux. He is in you. Il est en toi. And it says the peace of God that passeth all understanding shall keep your heart and your mind through Jesus Christ. Et Dieu, la paix de Dieu qui surpasse toute intelligence gardera vos cœurs et vos pensées en Jésus Christ. I want you to look at the first line there, the peace of God. Et je veux que vous voyez la première ligne là, et la paix de look Dieu. Look at verse 9. Verset 9. In verse 9, we're pointing at something here. It says, those things which ye have heard and received and heard and seen, it says in me, do it, and the God of peace. Verse 7, the peace of God, and verse 9, the God of peace shall be with you. Et dans le verset 9, nous voulons relever quelque chose. Ce que vous avez appris, reçu, entendu de moi, et ce que vous avez vu en moi, pratiquez-le. Voyez ceci, est le Dieu de paix. Verset 7, est la paix de Dieu. In verse 7 and verse 9. Entre le verset 7 et le verset 9. The peace of God La paix de Dieu that passes all understanding being in you et and en the vous. God of peace, verse 9, et le Dieu de paix, verse reigning 9. in you Il règne en vous. in between that is verse 8. Entre cela, y a le verset 8. In verse 8, it tells us et dans le verset 8, il nous dit what to think about. Ce à quoi vous pensez. It tells us il nous dit what to meditate ce on. Meditez. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, Au reste, frère, que ce qui est vrai, whatsoever things are honest, tout ce qui est honorable, whatsoever things are just, tout ce qui est juste, whatsoever things are pure, tout ce qui est pur, whatsoever things are of a lovely. Tout ce qui est aimable. And whatsoever things of good report. Tout ce qui est vertueux. If there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Tout ce qui mérite l'approbation, ce qui est vertueux, digne de louange, soit l'objet de vos pensées. The world is trying to change us and remodel us by what we see on the social media. Est-ce que nous pensons que ce que nous voyons sur les réseaux they sociaux peut nous changer? Cela contrôle nos pensées. They try to steer our thoughts in the wrong direction. Et ils essaient d'orienter nos pensées dans la mauvaise direction. And many direction. of the things we hear there, many of the things we read there, they are not true, and we're thinking of them. Et tout ce que nous voyons, lisons, écoutons parfois, ce n'est pas many la vérité. Many of the arts and the drama, whatever there. And not honest. That's what we are thinking about. Mais tout ce que nous voyons là-bas, les scènes, les théâtres, ce n'est pas pur. C'est ça, ça, nous pensons. Tout cela n'est pas pur. They glorify 
and bring to the limelight the relationship between men and women which are impure. They justify divorce and remarriage. Many of the pictures they paint there are pictures. They leave them up. They say, look at this man going on with this woman. They are not husband and wife, but they try to glamorize that. They make people think of that. Vous voyez les images, les scènes qu'il présente. Et telle femme et tel monsieur, ils ne sont pas mariés, mais Now, ils vont ensemble. Now, minds can only think about one thing at a time, and the things they are presenting to us, that's what we are thinking about. And it makes us not to have the peace of God and the God of peace. It says if there be any good thing and any virtue, think on these things. Romans chapter 16 verse 20. In Romans chapter 16 verse 20, and the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The God of peace. When you have the peace of God and you're indwelt by the God of peace, Satan, demons, and defilement, and all those powers of darkness will be under your feet. And today, you are going to trample on them in Jesus' name. Look at number two here. Number two, we're talking about the poached heart by his propitiation. He purges our hearts. He cleanses our hearts. He washes white our hearts. He makes our hearts whiter than snow. You see, there are people that carry about old, old testimony. Forty years ago, I was saved. Tell me, What's happening now? Forty years ago, I remember my heart was poured. I couldn't think of those vile things I used to do. I couldn't think of those uh, immoral things I used to have. Don't talk about 40 years. Tell me now, at this time, What's your spiritual state? I couldn't If I greeted them and they did not answer, I'll go to them. I'll say good morning. I remember I was born again. 1964. And there was somebody who had been going together to a particular church. In that church, all we did was drum, dance, burn candle, burn incense. I was actually my position there was to be a drummer. And then I got the light of the gospel. I repented. I was saved. And I stopped going to a place I didn't even hear any iota of the good news, the glad tidings of salvation. That's a man of very close who are going together. And uh, when I decided I will be going to this place now, I have salvation, forgiveness, freedom, and the fire of the Holy Ghost. The man made me an enemy. And we're teaching in the same school. In the morning, when he's coming like that, I'll say good morning. He look at me like I was coming from the latrine. He looked at me like I was coming from the latrine. You will not answer me. I'll say good morning. 
He will look down on me. He will rub it, sir. And then I will go to him. I will touch him and say, I was greeting you. Now, good morning. Okay, good morning. He said, yeah, it did like that. Et le lendemain, faisait the la même third chose. day, like the that. Jour, la même the chose. following week, like la that. Suivante, la même chose. But I never stopped. Mais je cessé. Because I was purged Parce que purgé of anger de la colère, animosity, de animosity, hatred, de la haine, enmity. De Everything went out of Tout my heart. Tout a mon cœur. And then he began to change. Et il a commencé à changer. And I invited Et him. I said, "What about going with me to the gospel church tomorrow?" Et je disais, mais si tu allais avec moi à l'église hein, demain. And he accepted. Et il a accepté. And he went with Et me. Et il est allé avec moi. And he too became born Et again. Et lui aussi est né de nouveau. Are you there? Est-ce que tu es là? I said he became born il est again. Né de nouveau aussi. If when he was angry at me, I was angry at him. Mais si au moins il se fâchait contre moi, moi-même je faisais la même chose. Il ne sera jamais né de nouveau. If when he held hatred, animosity in the heart, and I also did, I'll not be able to invite him. He'll not get saved. Si au moment il faisait, la, il manifestait la moitié, il faisait la même chose. Il ne sera jamais sauvé. When you come to the Lord, Quand tu viens au Seigneur, He purges your heart. Il purge ton cœur. And the other people, they do that because they are demanding something. Et il y a des gens qui le font parce qu'ils demandent quelque chose. And they think, if I'm angry at him, Et d'ici je me fâche contre lui. If I show animosity to him, si je lui manifeste l'animosité, he will bend and give me what I want. Il va fléchir me donner ce que je veux. My friends, if love does not give you what you are looking for, anger will never give you what you are looking for. Mon ami, for. si l'amour ne te donne pas ce que tu veux, et c'est l'animosité que tu veux utiliser, tu n'auras jamais. In any case, why do you want something and you want to get it by force and get it by anger? Mais pourquoi est-ce que tu veux quelque chose, mais tu veux l'obtenir par la colère et par la force? He purges our hearts. He purges nos cœurs. He will purge every one of us in Jesus' name. Et il va purger chacun de nous au nom de Jésus. In 2 Timothy chapter 2. En 2 Timothée chapitre 2. I'm reading from verse 21. Verset 21. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 21. De 21 it says if a man therefore purge himself from all these si donc se conserve pur de cette chose, it shall be a vessel unto honor sanctified and meat ready suitable feet for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. Il sera un bon vase d'honneur sanctifié, utile à son maître, propre à toute bonne œuvre. Anger will not prepare you for every good work. La colère ne va pas te préparer pour que tu sois prêt à tout bonne œuvre. Animosity will not prepare you for every good work. L'animosité ne fera pas que tu sois propre à toute bonne œuvre. Frowning face will not prepare you for every good word. Trying to push everybody down. I want to have my way. I want to have my will. And I push him down, push her down. That will not make me to be a doer of every good word. Et pousser tout le monde, tu veux faire ce que tu veux, c'est ta volonté qui doit passer. Tu fais tomber tout le monde et tu veux faire ce que tu veux. Psalm 51, verse 7. Psalm 51, verse 7. Porch me with iso, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Purifie-moi avec l'iso, et je serai pur. Lave-moi, je serai plus blanc que la neige. Look at number three here. Number three is the pure heart at his price. Le cœur pur à son prix. He paid for it all. All you need to do is come to him and say, Lord, you've given me peace at salvation. Now I need purity, pure heart that comes for sanctification. Il a payé pour tout. Ce qu'il te faut faire, c'est de venir à lui pour dire Tu m'as donné la paix au salut. Je veux la pureté de cœur à la Psalm 24, verse 3. Psalm 24, 3. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? Qui pourra monter à la montagne de l'éternel qui s'élèvera jusqu'à son lieu saint? Most people in the church, when they came in, 
you are thinking of heaven you are praying about heaven lord make me ready when the lord shall come qualify me make me ready so that lord i will see you when you come that was our prayer that was our passion that was our pursuit La plupart des gens quand ils viennent à l'église ou quand ils étaient venus à l'église cela dit c'était le ciel ils priaient Seigneur amène moi au ciel continue au ciel Many people now are forgotten going to heaven Mais la plupart maintenant oublié même qu'ils vont au ciel pour eux mêmes for their children pour leurs enfants All they want now for their children they want this material success they want you know a good job they want overseas training they want everything they want earthly position in our own case, when we came to the Lord, the best thing we wanted for anybody around us is that they will get to heaven. Mais tout le monde veut maintenant pour ses enfants des choses matérielles, les bonnes études à l'étranger, les bonnes formations à l'étranger. Alors que quand nous étions venus, ce qu'on voulait pour tout le monde, c'était la demeure céleste. And David the king, Et David le roi, with all the position he had, the power, the authority he had on earth, the wealth and the riches he had on earth, he still wanted to know who will ascend to the hill of the Lord. David, avec tout ce qu'il avait, la position, la richesse et tout cela, il voulait savoir qui peut monter à la montagne de l'Éternel. Look at verse four. Verset 4. In verse four, he that has clean hands. Celui qui a les mains innocentes. He that has clean hands. Celui qui a les mains innocentes. And a pure heart. Et le cœur pur. Not this or that. Ce n'est pas ceci ou cela. But both this and that. Les deux. Ceci et cela. He that has clean hands and a pure heart. Celui qui a les mains innocentes et le cœur pur. David. David. Thank you for inspiration. Merci pour l'inspiration. But we cannot thank you for pollution. Mais on peut pas te remercier pour la pollution. Look at David. Regardez David. Clean hand. Les mains innocentes. Pure heart. Et le cœur pur. He saw a woman which he shouldn't have seen. Il a vu une femme, il a regardé ce qu'il devrait pas faire. If he had gone to the battle at the time in the periods when kings go to battle. He stayed back at home. I don't mind run here and there and think of many things they should not be thinking about. When she saw the woman, in her heart, her heart was already, his heart was already defiled. Go bring that woman. Allez cette King, femme. King David. Oh, Roi David. The one who wrote, he that has clean hands and a pure heart. Celui qui a écrit, celui qui a le, les mis, les mis et and he brought pur. the woman. Ils ont amené la femme. Defiled himself for the et woman. Il souillé avec la femme. And to cover up Many people do things to cover up. To shut the preacher up. I know the preacher has this knowledge, this knowledge, and I know he might talk about what he knows, and to shut him up. They act like this and act like that. Ah, je sais que le prédicateur est informé de ceci, de cela, de cela. Et il peut en parler quand il prêche. Alors pour le and faire, il agit comme ça, comme ça. Il a tué sa mère. Et il a écrit une lettre. To Joab. À Joab. When this man gets to you, Quand ce temps reviendra avec toi, put him in the hottest place of the battle. Placez-le au lieu le plus chaud After du you combat. Done that, Et après qu'il ait fait cela, retire, me alone. retirez-vous et laissez-le tranquille. I want him to die. Je veux qu'il meure au combat. And Joab did not ask any question. Et Joab n'a posé aucune question. Monsieur, why would you want an innocent man to die? Parce que tu veux qu'un innocent meure. Do what I told you. We need to cover up this deal. Fais ce que je te demande. On veut cacher quelque chose. What spiritual stage was David in 
at that time. Dans quel état spirituel se trouvait David dans ce moment-là? What was his state of heart quel était at that time? de son cœur en ce moment précis? Well, you know the story. Vous connaissez très bien l'histoire. If David had died in that condition, si David était mort dans cette condition, God is no respecter of persons. Dieu ne fait acception de personne. That man would have gone to the other side, would have gone to hellfire, to live there, to suffer there, to be tormented there forever and ever and ever without end. Si ce homme était mort, il irait dans, dans l'au-delà et il allait souffrir, il irait en enfer pour God toujours. Said, Lord, push me, push me, push me. And I shall be whiter than snow. Unfortunately, there are people who have position, who have work, and they concentrate on the work. They concentrate on activity. And when it comes time to pray, they don't have any time to pray. They continue in that defiled hand and defiled heart. And if you die walking, walking, walking in without having restoration of salvation, if you die in that condition, you go to hell. Il y a déjà malheureusement c'est le travail, travail, activité, activité. Et quand c'est moment de prier, ne prie pas. Si tu meurs dans cette situation, en condition sans avoir le cœur pur, ce sera terrible. Clean hands and a pure heart. Celui qui a les mains innocentes et le cœur pur. Who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity. Celui qui ne livre pas son âme au mensonge. And who has not sworn deceitfully. Et qui ne jure pas pour tromper. Well, David could have sworn deceitfully. David pourrait jurer Nathan pour said, tromper. Hear this, hear this, hear this. Dans Nathan dit, écoute ceci, écoute cela. And David said, whoever has done that must die. David a dit, celui qui a fait une chose pareille mérite la mort. And Nathan pointed at him. Et Nathan lui a l'a droité. At the man. You know other people today they will say no, no. Me? Could I have done that? No. And then they will say, I swear to God Almighty. You compound your problem when you swear deceitfully. But you come to the Lord and you say, Lord, that's right, I'm sorry, I've done that. Touch me. Purify me. Change my life. That's what brings you to the possession of a pure heart. We're coming to point number two now. Point number two is the promise and the provision a pure heart that becomes our privilege. La promesse et la provision d'un cœur pur, notre privilège. Matthew chapter 5 verse 8. En Matthieu chapitre 5, le Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Heureux ceux qui ont le cœur pur, car ils verront Dieu. The, the Lord Jesus did not say, everyone blessed. In the loving Christ, everyone blessed. Those who are speaking at heaven, blessed. Those who are crucifying Christ for the second time again, blessed. Those who are living in open sin, flagrant sin, Everyone blessed. No, that, that will not be true. And the people came to Christ and we know thou art true. And you declare the way of God and the word of God in all truthfulness. And in the truthfulness of Christ, it said, Blessed at the pure in heart. For they shall see God. The promise and the provision of pure heart, which is now our privilege. Look at three things here. Number one, the persons with pure heart 
in the past. Number two, the promise of pure heart for his people. Number three, the provision of pure heart at present. Look at number one. The people who had pure heart before we came into the kingdom. You remember Enoch? He walked with God. And God took him not to see death. And that man saw the Lord. He had pure heart. You remember Isaiah? Isaiah said, Order your house, put everything or everything, order because you will die. At the face of death, that man turned and said, God, I need to do some other things before I come over. Coming over, not a problem, not a challenge. I like to come, but I want to accomplish this, this, and this. And he said, I have walked before you with a perfect heart. That man was pure. Et ce homme là a tourné la vers Dieu, dit Dieu, c'est vrai. Venir vers toi n'est pas un problème, mais il y a des choses Daniel. à faire. Et il avait le cœur pur. This, uh, the people said to so other presidents and competitors, they said, "You will not find anything against this man. He was faultless." Daniel était un homme pur parce que ses collègues ont dit, "On Paul the apostle. Paul. How holily and justly and unblameably I behaved myself before God and before you. It's a, a, a little bit difficult. People can do it, but it's difficult to lie against a man that is never alone. He turned this way, Silas was with him. He turned this way, Timothy was with him. He turned the other way, and you have Epaphroditus with him. Everywhere he went, there were people with him. Can anybody lie against that man? <laughs> He's a preacher. He's an apostle, but his hands are not clean. His heart is not pure because he does this with women. He does this with money. Never. When you position yourself that you are not always in the secret, that you know you can do anything, you look here, you look there, and there's nobody around, and you can play the fool for a little time. That's hey, dangerous. Hey, hey. Un apôtre ou un quel que soit le titre, et il se permet de faire tout ce qu'il veut avec les femmes ou avec l'argent. Il est toujours seul et il peut jouer à l'insensé pendant un moment. Those were people that had pure heart. Voici donc les personnes qui avaient le cœur pur. The Lord established pure heart in you. Et que le Seigneur établisse un cœur pur Let the church say. Et que Look at number two here. Number two. We're looking at. The promise of pure heart for his people. Look at Ezekiel chapter 36. We're reading from verse 25. Ezekiel 36 verse 25. 25. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean 36, from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. That's the promise he has given us. And we can have the fulfillment of that promise from this day and every day until the final day. Verse 26. In verse 26, a new heart also will I give you. Je vous donnerai un cœur nouveau. Verset Behold, 26. heart, 
It's already influenced so permanently. It's like you are walking on the field and you are walking on that path every time. Eventually, you wear out all the grass there because you are walking on it every time. Everybody is walking on it every time. Et ce cœur, ce vieux cœur, influencé par plusieurs choses. C'est comme si vous marchez sur une voie et vous marchez sur les herbes et finalement rien de tout cela. The heart has been traversed and trampled by thoughts, by ideas, by habit, by action until it cannot be new anymore. Ce cœur ancien là a été foulé au pied par plusieurs choses et il n'est plus possible qu'il soit nouveau. You know that in our brain, in our mind, there is a past. You are thinking a particular way and you think about that and you think about that automatically. The thing is registered. Once you see that thing, the register is there, you just run for it, you just go for it. And once that idea comes, temptation, you already, you are programmed to always go that direction. That's the old heart. And the old heart now, God will remove and he'll give us a new heart. A new heart also will I give you. You can tell whether you have the new heart or not. If you always lean towards the old propensity in your life you don't have a new heart yet if whatever you are always angry about angry 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 20 30 years ago when those things occur now you are still angry you don't have the new heart if the defiling habits of the past that any time anybody comes and before they say too many words you're falling for them if you still have that old habit of falling into sin because of their personality because of their beauty because of this or that if you're still like that that's the old heart you don't have the new heart. Si les anciennes habitudes qui vous poussent au péché sont encore là, parce que quand les gens ne parlent pas à la cause de leur position, de leur beauté, de leur argent, et vous tombez toujours encore aujourd'hui, votre cœur n'est pas encore nouveau. A new nouveau. heart also will I give you, and a new nouveau. spirit, and I will put within you. He will put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and will give you a heart of flesh look at number three here number three is the provision of pure heart at his at present at present today while we're still here in the world, the provision of a pure heart. It tells us in Acts chapter 15, we're reading from verse 9. Acts 15, verse 9. And it put no difference between us and them. Between us and the apostles and the Jews and Cornelius, he put no difference between us and them. He put no difference between the apostles of that time and the apostles and the evangelists and the prophets and the preachers and the teachers of today. The believers of that time, Jesus told them, Go and sin no more. The apostles of those times, they say, You are witnesses, and God also, how holy live. 
unblameably and fully and just, uh, justly will behave ourselves among you that believe. I preach us and the pastors of today. What, what do they say? Oh, they say they are all sinners. They say nobody can be free from sin. And when they fight and beat their wife and get angry at home, and the wife said, My husband, but you are a preacher. And so what? Am I not a human being? Is a human being, it's not a saint of God. My wife, I saw something on your phone. Okay, what did you see? I saw that there is an illicit relationship going on between you and somebody else. Uh -huh. what et alors? Else? Et après? That's bad now. Mauvais, no? I do my own, go and do your own. The people who say they are believers today, they don't have this provision and this possession of a pure heart. But it says he put no difference between them of the earlier times and us. Purifying their hearts by faith. Purifying their hearts by faith. Today is your day. Why do you always forget your amen? The Lord will purify your heart. The Lord will so purge your heart that the old lifestyle of sinning from within to the external, everything, the Lord will clear Look at Second Peter chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 3. In 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. According as his divine power, he has given unto us all things that pertain unto, uh, pertain unto godliness and unto uh, virtue. It says, through the knowledge of him that has called us he called us out of disgrace and he called us to glory and to virtue comme sa divine puissance nous a donné tout ce qui contribue à la vie et à la piété au moins de la connaissance de celui qui nous a appelé par sa propre gloire et par sa whereby a giving unto us exceeding great and precious promises. Those who walk ordinarily, like all the people walk, those who live ordinarily, like all the people live, they don't know they have precious promise. They don't know they have great promises of purity, great promises of total freedom from sin. They walk like every other person. In fact, there are, you know, many, many so-called deeper life that I would have told them, say the truth. You are not deeper life, you are shallow life. Because you live like others, you talk like others, you dress like others, and you gossip like others, and there's nothing that the shallow people out there are doing that you are not doing. No, don't claim I am deep alive where you are where you are shallow life. Il y a des gens qui mangent de façon ordinaire, ils vivent de façon ordinaire, ils font ce que les autres font. Ils ne savent pas qu'ils ont les précieuses et les grandes promesses. Et même parfois, il y en a même de la vie profonde. Et quand vous les regardez, je dis, mais vous n'êtes pas de la vie profonde, vous êtes d'une vie légère, une vie non profonde. Vous vivez, But vous parlez says, comme les autres. Mais il dit, il nous fait de être des partenaires de of the divine nature. Today, he will do it for us. 
Our lives will be different. Nos vies seront différentes. Our thoughts will be different. Nos pensées seront différentes. Our lifestyle will be different. Nos modes de vie seront différents. We're coming to point number three now. Troisième point maintenant. Point number three is the pursuit of peacefulness with pure heart as peacemakers. La pursuit de la paix avec un cœur pur. We're well, looking at Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 9, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Those are the children of God. The peacemakers. You remember when you were. Maybe if you're still in school, high school, university. You remember when two people are arguing, they're fighting. A speaks, B speaks. And things, temperature rising up. Voice rising up. And shaking, shivering with anger rising up. And you see those uh, other students that are on the side? They say, give it to him. Teach him a lesson. Let him know you're not the kind of person anybody can trample on. Give it to him. That's what we were before salvation came. But today, how is it? You see husband and wife having a reach. What do you do? How do you counsel the wife? You see, your husband did that to you. Your husband went that direction. I, I, as a woman, I will never take that from any man. If it comes to divorce, so be it. And you still cook for that man. You still spend your money, you go to market for that man. And you're still taking care of him. Okay, then. that's why the man is treating you like that. Because you're dense, you're ah. dummy. You're, you're so foolish that you cannot teach that. The men of today, if they're going to do what they ought to do, you must teach them the lesson they need to learn. You see, you're not a peacemaker, and you cannot be called the child of God. Ah, c'est pourquoi il te traite comme il veut. Les hommes d'aujourd'hui, il faut leur enseigner des leçons. Il faut leur montrer quelque chose. À toi qui parles comme ça, tu n'es pas artisan de paix et tu n'es pas un enfant de Dieu. Church the other Sunday. Est-ce que tu étais à l'église l'autre dimanche? Well, I'll tell you what happened because I know that you are my friend. There was a little argument between me and my wife. Uh, because of that, I, come to, I wanted to come to church. But the woman locked me inside the room. Stay there until I come, you learn your lesson. And so, when she came back from church, what did you do? I knelt down and begged her. That's why you are in such a mess in your family. I'll never take that from any woman. If she wants to park and go back to her parents' house, so be it. Counselor, are you a peacemaker? In all things in life, Dans tout chose dans la vie, all situations dans in life, de la vie, we see people go this way and go that way. But the people who are real children of God, ceux qui sont de vrais enfants de Dieu, they are the people who are called peace. Makers. Between husband and wife, he's a peacemaker. Between parents and children, he's a peacemaker. Between director and the, the, between the foreman and the workers, 
Il se peacemaker. Entre le directeur et les ouvriers, les employés, il y a une Between de paix. the prefect and the student union, is a peacemaker. Entre le préfet et le syndicat des, les, des élèves, Between neighbors de and neighbors, he is a peacemaker. Those are the children of God. Et entre voisins, il y a toujours un artisan de paix. C'est un enfant de Dieu. God said, Moses. Dieu dit Moïse. Enough. Is enough. These people, they have offended and rebelled these ten times. Leave me alone. I'll wipe them off and make you a greater nation than them. Pride would have responded, make me a greater nation. Thank you, Lord. L'orgueil aurait pu répondre, dit, fais de moi une grande nation. Merci, Seigneur. And uh, anger in his heart, because he also offend Moses too. You want to wipe them out, my enemies, my detractors, wipe them out and make me a greater nation. I want to see that. I wait to see that. Et aussi, comme ils avaient offensé Moïse, la colère dans le cœur pouvait dire, ah, tu veux les effacer, ah, fais-le, je veux the voir ça. people. They should be destroyed. You will not be a peacemaker if your heart is like that. Blessed are the peacemakers. Abraham, what happened to you the other day? Abraham, qu'est-ce qui t'est arrivé la dernière fois? My nephew, I brought along with me. Mon neveu que j'ai amené avec moi. He chose the better part of the land. Il a choisi la meilleure partie du pays. And now I'm left with the rest. Et il m'a laissé le reste. And you know, I brought him. Ah, c'est moi qui l'ai amené. The promise was given la to me. La promesse m'a été faite. And I was to possess Et that land. Et c'est moi qui devais posséder ce pays-là. And this lot now because of the read between him his uh, herdsman and my herdsman I now say choose whatever you wanted to do he didn't say ah uh ah -uh, daddy how can I do that he didn't say uncle how can I do that no uh, whatever happens to the herdsman let it happen but you will take the first choice I don't even want to leave you he just says thank you uncle and choose the better part of the land c'est moi qui l'ai amené et, et ce lot là au lieu de laisser pour dire oncle il faut choisir d'abord oncle prend la meilleure partie non Not il long est parti after. seul et pas longtemps après Army, enemies came and took lot away and took everything he had away l'armée les ennemis sont venus emporter lot et tout ce qu'il avait and then Abraham Had about it. Et Abraham en a entendu parler. When you hear of bad things happening to a junior fellow whom you brought out, whom you brought up, and now he's taking the lead and he's taking all the attention. My friends, what do you do? Et quand tu en prends qu'un junior plus petit que toi est allé et qu'il a pris les devants, qu'est-ce que tu fais? Abraham. The father of the faithful, Abraham, an example for those who say they live by faith today. Abraham, le père de la foi, est un exemple pour ceux qui vivent aujourd'hui. The rallied soldiers, born in his house, trained in his house, rallied them together and went to fight against the enemies of Lord. Abraham How about a pris l'armée formée dans sa maison pour aller combattre afin de sauver Lot. And he, and he brought all they took away from Sodom from Lot brought everything back. Et il a pu récupérer tout ce que les gens avaient pris à Sodom, ils avaient arraché And the king of Sodom said Abraham, take the spoil. He said, no, I didn't, I didn't do it for gain. I didn't do it for money. I didn't do it for wealth. I will not touch a shoe lash it. I did it because I am a peacemaker. Et le roi de Sodom a dit à Abraham, prends maintenant ce que nous avons, les butins. Il dit non, je ne l'ai pas fait pour un gain quelconque. Je l'ai fait parce que je suis artisan de, de paix. 
do you stand? Alors, en tant que croyant aujourd'hui, où est-ce que toi tu tiens? Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Heureux ceux qui procurent la paix, car ils seront appelés enfants de Dieu. Three things we're looking at. Number one. Il y a trois éléments à voir. Premièrement, number one, pursuing peace with purposeful calling, like our peacemaker. Pursue la paix par une vocation déterminée, comme notre artisan de paix. Number two, promoting peace as peaceable citizens among. Deuxième élément, promouvoir la paix en tant que citoyen pacifique parmi les gens. Number three, partnership, partnering with peacemakers in the covenant of peace. Et troisième élément, s'associer aux artisans de paix dans l'alliance de paix. Welcome to Christ. Nous venons à Christ. He lives in us. Il vit au dedans de nous. We live for him. Nous vivons pour lui. Number one, Premier élément. pursuing peace. But purposeful calling like our peace maker. Pour suivre la paix par une vocation déterminée comme notre artisan de In paix. In Ephesians chapter 2. En Ephésiens chapitre 2. Ephesians chapter 2, reading from verse 14. Ephésiens 2, 14. For he is our peace. Car il est notre paix. He lives in us. Il vit en nous. He is our peace. Car il est notre paix. He controls our thought, controls our pensées. talk, our action. He is our peace. He controls our thoughts, our language, our village, our peace. The Lord who lives within you is the Prince of Peace. When somebody has done something against you, listen to the one who lives within you. He will not say, slap him back. Quand quelqu'un te fait quelque chose, écoute celui qui est en toi, le prince de paix, il ne te dira pas, gifle-le. Listen to the prince of peace, a prince who rules, and he reigns in you. He will not say, they threw that stone at you, you dodged it, fell to the ground, pick it up, and give him his sense back. Le prince de paix qui est en toi, lorsqu'on te lance un caillou, tu fais des atomes, le prince de dira pas, ramasse le caillou, lance-lui ça, non, il ne te dira pas ça. He is our peace. Il est notre Père. Who has made both one. Lui qui des deux n'en a fait qu'un. And he has broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Et qui a renversé le mur de séparation, l'inimitié. If you're a man of peace, a woman of peace, you are not going to build up again what he has broken down. Si tu es un homme de paix, une femme de paix, tu ne vas pas rebâtir le mur de séparation qu'il avait renversé. When Christ came, quand Christ est venu, he broke down the middle wall of partition between one church and the other. Quand il est venu, Christ a renversé le mur de séparation qu'il avait entre une église et l'autre. This is where we stand. Ah, là où nous nous we have the best doctrine in town. Nous avons les doctrines de la ville. That other church. No. Église, là. He has no. broken down the middle wall of partition. Help them if they need help. Show them the way if they don't know the way. But we are this, they are that, and we built up a very strong wall of partition. Christ a renversé le mur de séparation. Ah, nous, nous sommes dans la vérité. Eux ne sont pas comme ça. Non. Christ a renversé le mur de séparation entre tribes et tribes. Le mur de séparation entre tribus et tribus. I'm saved. Je suis sauvé. I'm a child of God. Je suis enfant de Dieu. But look at them. That church is still the same deeper life, but they are not from our tribe. Mais regardez là, toujours de la même vie profonde, mais ils ne sont pas de notre tribu. And we erect a very strong wall of partition. Those people on the other side of the wall you have erected, they're saved, they're sanctified, they're serviceable, they're good. The people on this side too, thank God, were saved, were sanctified, serviceable. Why do we give more recognition to the people from my tribe than the people who are not my tribe? Those walls were erecting again. They do not show that the Prince of Peace lives, abides in us. Break down 
that wall that Christ has broken down. Nous érigeons des murs de séparation entre tribus et tribus dans la même église. L'autre église, l'autre district là-bas, ils sont de telles tribus. Nous, nous sommes de telles tribus. Pourquoi nous faisons ça? Ils sont sauvés, nous sommes sauvés, ils sont sans fils. Christ a déjà renversé les murs. Renversons les murs. Ou par la grâce de Dieu dans la vie profonde au début. And our national overseer here can testify. It was with us in Nigeria for Notre quite a long time. Il est au très longtemps. What many tribes in Nigeria? Nous avons plusieurs tribus au Nigeria. And you might know some of them. Vous Yoruba, Igbo, Aousa, Efik, everybody. Vous pouvez connaître plusieurs de ces tribus Yoruba, Aousa, Efik et autres. We don't make any difference. It's saved. Whatever tribe it comes from, whatever others can do, that they saved Aousa man, Igbo man, Yoruba man can do, come in. We are together in the kingdom service of God. Une fois qu'il est sauvé, qu'il soit Yoruba, Igbo, Aousa, ce que le Igbo sauvé peut faire, l'Aousa sauvé va le faire, vient pour le service du Seigneur. We don't erect any wall. Nous n'origeons aucun mur. I'm a graduate. Je suis un diplômé. He is not a graduate. Et lui pas un he knows the word. He has the word. He has experienced the peace, the purity, the power. It's not by being a graduate that I preach. I preach because of the calling of God. He too, although he didn't go to university, he can come, come and preach. Because we are called all by grace. Il connaît la parole, même si il n'a pas été à l'université. Ce n'est pas la grâce que nous sommes appelés. Il peut servir, il peut prêcher s'il connaît la parole. Il a expérimenté la parole. For he is our Car peace. il est notre Père. Who has broken, who has made both one. Lui qui a, qui des deux n'en a fait qu'un. And has broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Et qui a renversé le mur de séparation, l'inimitié entre nous. At, look at number two. Deuxième here. élément maintenant. Number two, it the, is promoting peace as peace making peaceable citizens among people. Promouvoir la paix en tant que citoyen pacifique parmi les gens. We don't do politics in church. Nous ne faisons pas de la politique à l'église. We don't do politics in the sanctuary. Nous ne faisons pas de la politique dans le sanctuaire. We are peace with each other. Nous sommes en paix les uns envers les autres. You become a politician in the church when you are campaigning for yourself or campaigning for your tribe and you are putting all the others down. Is that a church? Et vous devenez politicien quand vous commencez à faire de la campagne pour être vous, pour vous même ou pour votre tribu contre les autres. Est-ce que ça c'est une église? Matthieu chapitre 5 le verset 9. Blessed are the peacemakers. Heureux ceux qui procurent la paix. He has blessed you today. Il béni I said he has blessed you today. Béni are you a peacemaker? Est-ce que tu es un pacificateur? Are you a peacemaker? Est-ce que tu es un de la paix? Give me a good yes. Donne yes. Un bon oui, non? Blessed are you today. Alors, tu es heureux aujourd'hui. Blessed are you tomorrow. Et demain, tu seras béni. Blessed are you through life Et in Jesus' vie, name. Et tout au long de la vie, tu seras béni au nom de Jésus. Now, you see, for anything to change, the change must begin with you. Vous voyez, pour que quelque chose change, le changement doit commencer chez toi. I told you of my friend who are going to the same church together. I became converted and I left the old church and I came to the gospel church, Bible believing church, and the man was angry. Now, he wasn't born again at that time. He wasn't saved at that time. I was the one that claimed to be saved. The one that claims to be saved is the one to change false and then uh, don't worry he doesn't have the grace now he's not born again and keep on living that life of the peacemaker eventually that will touch him don't criticize don't complain don't throw stones don't campaign don't do anything uh, that will show that you're not a peacemaker yourself be a child of god be a peacemaker 
and eventually all these walls of partition will be broken down fully and forever in Jesus name Alors je vous ai parlé de mon ami avec qui quand j'étais converti j'ai quitté l'église il est resté là-bas il se comportait fait parce que lui n'était pas sauvé c'est moi qui étais sauvé alors si toi même tu es sauvé l'autre n'est pas sauvé c'est à toi de démontrer que tu es sauvé parce que lui n'a pas encore la grâce c'est à toi d'être un artisan de paix Look at number 3 Troisième élément maintenant Number 3 is partnering with peacemakers in the covenant of peace. S'associer ou le partenariat avec les artisans de paix dans l'alliance de Partner paix. Partner together. Soyez en partenariat. Come together. Venez ensemble. Fellowship together. Communier ensemble. Encourage one another. Encouragez vous les uns les autres. That the peace of God reign and abide in your Et que la paix de Dieu demeure et reste dans ta vie et dans ton cœur. Peacemakers don't criticize. Les, part, les artisans de la don't de paix ne critiquent pas. Other people. Ne déambule pas en critiquant les Criticism autres. Is showing the evidence of pride. I'm better than him. I'm higher than her. I am greater than them. And they can they do not do as I do. They don't live as I live, and they don't act as I act. It's because of that canal comparison we criticize others. Les critiques donc, ne sont qu'un signe de l'orgueil. Parce que tu te vois supérieur aux autres, tu veux. Tu montres que les autres ne sont pas et que c'est toi qui es. C'est un signe que nous n'acceptons pas the les peace autres. Of God abide with Mais you. la paix de Dieu règnera en vous. The grace of God la in grâce de Dieu se multiplie dans votre vie. Blessed are you. Heureux êtes-vous. Who am I talking to? I said, blessed are you. Dis, vous êtes heureux. The Lord purifies your heart. You will see God on the final day. Dieu purifie votre cœur quand vous verrez Dieu au dernier jour. If you go there before I do, si vous me dévancez en haut là-bas, the for me at the gate. I'll soon be there as we are united here together. We'll be united together. In vous allez simplement battre la porte parce que je viendrai là-bas. Et comme nous sommes unis ici bas, nous serons unis en haut là-bas. If I go there, si je vais you, là-bas avant vous. I'll be waiting for you at the gate Je vais vous attendre à la porte du ciel. Because you are child of God, I'm a child Parce of God. Parce que enfant de Dieu, je suis enfant de Dieu. Because I follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Parce que je recherche la paix avec tous et la sanctification sans laquelle personne ne verra le Seigneur. And you also follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Et vous aussi vous devez rechercher la paix avec tous et la sanctification sans laquelle personne ne verra le Seigneur. Go before you, I'll be waiting for you. Si je vais là-bas avant vous, je vais vous attendre à la porte. I'll be there, you'll be there. Je serai là-bas, vous y serez aussi. What are you? Où es-tu là-bas? There. Tu seras, tu veux être là-bas? Où es-tu? Tu seras là-bas. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see. Heureux ceux qui ont le cœur pur, car ils verront Dieu. And blessed are you, the peacemakers, for you will be called children. Et heureux ceux qui procurent la paix, car ils seront appelés enfants de Dieu. Let's rise up now and talk to the Lord in prayer. Levons nous maintenant et parlons à Dieu dans la prière. He loves you. Il t'aime. Wants to cleanse you. Il veut te purifier. Wants to purify you. Il veut te laver. Wants to purge you. Il veut te purifier. And wants to get you ready for heaven. Il veut te préparer pour le ciel. And he wants to make you a peacemaker. Et il veut faire de toi un artisan de paix. 